everybody, it's John with Humane Innovation. So in this video, I want to just introduce the trap trigger system. So I did a video where we talked about this cage type. Um, this is a modular trap, or a missy trap, or a colony trap, um, or a group trap, whatever you want to call it, however you're using it. Um, so check out that video. I'll put that in the description as well. Um, but I want to talk about the product that we're selling here at Humane Innovation. Um, so these are, these are custom-made triggering systems. Um, what you see here is a custom upgrade. So it's got a lock that holds the door open. It's got an optical sensor that's shooting across the trap to a reflector. So the trap can be triggered via that sensor. Um, in this particular one, we've got a battery box, which is, does not come standard, but is an optional upgrade. Um, there's a junction box that is standard. Um, and then there's a battery inside there that's also not included. Oh, I'm not selling the battery. Now you can buy this system with just the optical sensor, with just the remote, or with both. Certainly the most versatile system is with both. Um, that gives you options. And you don't have to use both at the same time. Um, the, basically you hook up the battery and you hook up either just the optical or just the remote or both. And you choose what system you want to use. Um, this, this particular unit has been upgraded. This is a custom order. So it's got the wiring loom all the way around all the cables, so that protects the cables a little bit better from any chewy animals. Um, and it's also got a custom paint job. This particular unit, again, is going to a, to a jungle environment, so it's a, a little bit upgraded. Um, what you normally get is a, is a base model of just bare wire coming out. And by bare wire, I mean it's insulated brake wire, um, but it doesn't have the, the additional plastic on the outside. So if you want that, let me know. Um, this has also got an upgrade in that there's a, there's a waterproof disconnect for the wire that goes here. So if you want to have a bigger trap, um, this has got an, an extra 15 foot section of cable that can be spliced in so you can have a much larger trap. Or if you want to install this trigger on a building or a gated area or anything like that, um, it just gives you again more options. So um, if you can think of it, we could probably build it. We'll just work on pricing with you. Um, but this is the, the baseline, what you're going to get. Um, the, the lock is on the inside and notice that the cable goes straight out the side. We don't want cable inside the cage because we don't want to get it chewed up. Um, the unit does come with two carabiners. Um, one carabiner is attached to a piece of metal that comes out of the lock when the trap is triggered. So you'll see that as soon as I trigger the trap. The lock is waterproof inside the box. The box itself is not waterproof on purpose. It really just kind of makes it look better um, and protects it a little bit more. Um, but the lock itself is stainless steel and it's waterproof and the electrical fittings inside are waterproof. So don't worry about that. Um, there's a piece of aluminum on the back and the carabiners are stainless steel. Um, so you've got a, a component here that's going to last a long time. Um, if we come over here, we do include the, uh, the reflector here is going to come in a box as well. It's just kind of a half of a, of a junction box. Um, that just kind of makes it a little more visual, visually appealing or maybe a little less scary potentially to an animal. And the optical sensor is over here. The optical sensor is also waterproof, but it's inside of a waterproof box that is sealed completely. Um, so that just protects it even more. The junction box is waterproof. When I say waterproof, please know that I mean, you can't go diving or swimming with it, but it can get rained on, it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna trigger this trap like an animal. All right, so the, the lock releases, um, the, piece of metal came out and is stuck to the door over here. Um, so that's, that's how this works. Now I'll show you with the remote control. Get that reconfigured. I have not fully tested the range on the remote. Um, it's kind of an old school looking remote. Keep in mind, we're trying to keep the cost down. So we're trying to use lower cost components. This uses a nine volt battery. Uh, which is usually included, kind of depends on where I'm shipping it to. The remote has to be turned on. I mean, I should say that we've changed the remotes a couple of times already, just trying to find something with more range and better, better value. Um, this is, on paper says it'll go out to like a mile if you've got line of sight. So I think you're gonna get pretty darn good range. I've only tested it at like 200 yards, something like that, and inside of a building. So it does work very well. Um, and we turn that on. Just press the on button and that releases the lock. Um, same as the, the trigger. So you've got, or same as the optical trigger. So you've got some, some great options. I think this is really gonna help people do a lot of dog capture. 
Um, this is an advanced tool. It requires a lot of work. I'm going to do another video where I talk about um, sort of some of the troubleshooting, some of the really important elements of setup. Uh, but keep in mind, this is an advanced capture tool. This is not a, like take it out of the box, slap it together. We're gonna we're gonna be in business catching dogs. There's a lot to learn about how to set up the cage, the psychology of the dog, um, setting up all the wiring. Notice that the wiring is as streamlined as possible. Um, I'm not including all these zip ties. You basically get eight reusable zip ties to mount the sensor and the reflector. After that, you're on your own to figure that out. Um, if I wasn't on concrete here, I'd be burying these wires as well. I want this stuff kind of invisible. Um, bury the box most of the way. Um, do you want to protect that better? Anyway, um, so these are these are trap triggers from Humane Innovations. Um, again, custom order, so it's going to take a little bit of time to build it. Um, they're custom built. I'm, I'm personally building them myself at this point in time. Um, some of the components are kind of subject to change, but more or less the features are the same. If it changes a lot, we'll change out the video. Um, but this is more or less what you're going to get and we'll be clear with you when you order and we'll make sure that you get the length that you want we're sort of pre-selling at fixed length on um, the wiring uh, but we can do whatever length you want so we'll we'll work with you to get you the product that you want mm -hmm.